a moment of meditation, joy of Zion Church. Let's confess together. I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live in a body. I am a new creation. God loves me. God blesses me. God makes me righteous. God gives me peace that the world cannot give. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am delighted. I am happy. I am joyful. I am okay. I am doing good. In Christ, I am a person with overwhelming confidence to win in any situation and circumstance. I am a victor, not a victim. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to control my inner climate regardless of external circumstances. I am a spirit having the spirit. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to maintain a positive attitude in a negative situation. I am blessed to be a blessing. I will never, never, never be the same again. He seeks your face, please. But every man hath his proper gift of God, one after this manner, and another after that. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 7. In Matthew chapter 25, Jesus talked about three servants who were entrusted with talents. One was entrusted with one talent, another with two talents, and the third five talents. Talent being a weight measuring standard, usually of money. For example, talents of silver. The talents were given to them on the basis of their abilities. So, what their master was looking out for was their faithfulness. The one who got five talents came back with 100% success. Matthew chapter 25 verse 20. The one that was given two talents gained two more which was also 100% Matthew chapter 25 verse 22. But the servant that was given one talent was a disappointment to his master. He said, Master, I know you very well. You like to live where you didn't sow. Therefore, I kept your talent for you. Matthew chapter 25 verse 24. He did nothing with it. Evidently, he was a bellyacher. His life was never productive. He had only the ability to manage one talent and he still ruined his chances. His master called him wicked and unprofitable because he desired him to be faithful. It's the same with the Lord. As read in our theme verse, we are also uniquely graced and gifted by God, and he seeks faithfulness. He expects results. You may wonder, how do I know what's expected of me? It's simple, you know, what's expected of you by what you've been told. The ability of God is given through His message, His word. What did He expose you to? What information did He give you? When you analyze what He's told you, you will understand His expectation of you. Whatever the Lord has taught you or is teaching you, whatever He's exposed you to and helped you to know are all for the furtherance of the gospel. Therefore, find the opportunity to use them to advance His righteousness and the reign of his kingdom in the earth. Remember, he tests your faithfulness. If you are faced with certain challenges or difficulties in carrying out what he's asked you to do, your only option should be to win. Don't have excuses. Be fully committed to the furtherance of the gospel. Remain steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Surely at the end of all things, the Lord will say to you, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Matthew chapter 25 verse 21. Compassion, the Lord has blessed me with abundant graces in Christ for the furtherance of the gospel, and I will be faithful. My life is for his glory and the expansion of his glorious kingdom and spread of his righteousness in the earth. Amen. I hope so much Jesus be inside you and covers you today. Have a glorious day or have a glorious night. See you tomorrow.